What's up, black and white sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, we're going to the world of the NFL, and I think it's pretty safe to say that Dan Snyder is probably not the happiest man in the world in 2020 when it comes to sports. He has been the owner of the now Washington slash former Washington Redskins football team since 1999. And he has not been a very, very successful owner on the football field. They don't win very many games whatsoever. But now we have a story developing that is saying that the minority owners of the team are now pressuring Dan Snyder to sell the team. Now, Dan Snyder owns 60 percent of the team and the minority owners own 40 percent of the teams. Now, I believe the reason why all of this is coming down now is because of the sexual harassment allegations against the team. And that came out about a month ago or so. And there was another rumor that the minority owners were trying to sell their portions of the team. Now, I haven't really heard too much about that. And if they have been looking to sell their portions, maybe they're not getting the price that they want. So now they probably told Dan Snyder, you're hurting our, our bottom line here. We're trying to make money. And with these allegations, it'll probably be best if you sell the team. So my question is, who's really running the Washington football team now? Is it Dan Snyder? Is it the minority owners? It seems like the mi minority owners now have more power than Dan Snyder. Because you got to remember the FedEx CEO is a minority owner and he is one of the people that really, really kind of pressured him to change the name from the Washington Redskins to just Washington right now. They don't even have a, a mascot slash logo, but it is what it is at this point. So it doesn't seem like Dan Snyder has his house in order. And with everything that's been going on, you know, from the team name to the sexual harassment allegations, it's completely a mess over there in the nation's capital. So looking over here on Bleacher Report, it says Washington football team minority owners are pressuring majority owner Dan Snyder to sell the team, according to Andrew Beaton and Cara Lombardo of the Wall Street Journal. Per Beaton and Lombardo, the news comes amid a growing fight inside the team. In addition, Beaton and Lombardo, Lombardo reported that Snyder has no intentions to sell and has made a recent legal filing that implies a minority partner has attempted to leak defamatory information against him. So this is a lot of infighting that's going on right now in Washington. And from what we know about the allegations, Dan Snyder was not, his name wasn't directly involved with any of this. There was no allegations against him personally. So Dan Snyder, I don't believe he's going to sell the team. I truly don't. But, you know, Dan Snyder also said that he would never, ever, ever change the name of the Washington Redskins. And guess what he ended up doing? He ended up changing the name of the Washington Redskins. But now at this point, you know, there, there isn't really any upside for him to actually sell the team at this point. I don't believe he's going to sell the team. I really, really don't. Um, he has control of the team. I'm pretty sure that Dan Snyder wants to put his foot back on a pedal and say, this is my team. I'm running it. If you guys want to sell the team, go ahead and sell it. You can do that. But uh, the Washington Redskins, I believe they were worth uh, 3.4 billion. Now, of course, you know, Dan Snyder, if he sold the team, he's going to get a nice return on his investment. I have no idea how much the team would sell for. I, I really don't know, but we're talking about him just selling his portion of the team, but I really don't know. So what do you guys think of this? Dan Snyder being forced out in Washington. Now the minority owners, they don't have the power to do any of this. They really, really don't. I mean, Dan Snyder has already caved to the woke mob as it is. He changed the name from the Redskins and now they're just Washington, which really doesn't do anything. Doesn't say much to me. They're going to have logo probably next season. 2020 is a horrible year for Dan Snyder. He's getting hit way worse than the Chinese virus is doing to 
people around the world when in business anyway. This is a horrible year for Dan Snyder. Now, the minority owners are are Clark. No, actually, no, that, I'm wrong. The, the minority owners are Black Diamond Capital CEO, Robert Rothman, NVR Inc. Chairman, Dwight Shar, and Frederick W. Smith, the chairman and president of FedEx. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Dan Snyder. I still don't believe he's actually going to be selling the team. But with all the infighting going on there in Washington, they're not going to win many games. But this is the Washington, almost said the Redskins again, but this is the Washington football team. They're losers from the top on down. It is a complete disaster over there in the nation's capital when it comes to professional NFL football. How is this going to affect the upcoming season on the football field? I really don't have any idea. They're not a good team anyway. They're not going to win many games. They're probably going to be like 4-12, and 12, you know, but me and Rhodes will do our pits and everything at a later date here. But the season's just around the corner, and this is just another distraction for Washington. But anyway, guys, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me, and we will catch you on the next video. Black and white sports, we're out.